You know, I feel like one of the things that God has assigned me to do is to teach the body of Christ advanced, fresh, cutting edge stuff, but biblically cutting edge stuff. Fresh revelation that will bring accelerated breakthrough. Amen? And so that's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you a tool today that I think is one of the most powerful tools that Jesus has given to us that will bring acceleration into your life. Amen? Do you want to not drink milk today and eat meat instead? Me too. I already had milk in my coffee, so. How many of you like sci-fi movies? Yes. I love that stuff. You know, space and the battles and time travel and time machines and baby up Scotty and I copped and all that stuff. I love it. It's awesome stuff. How many of you ever watched like a movie about a time machine or time travel and you thought to yourself, oh man, I wish I could do that. That'd be so awesome. You know, go to the future and see what the world looks like in, you know, 100 years or go back in time and see what it was like, you know, life in the past. Yeah, you thought about that? Well, guess what? You don't have to think about it anymore because you can do it. Amen? And it's easier than you think. I'm going to show you how today. And I'm going to show you who has enabled us to do it. And it's Jesus. It's his cross and his resurrection. I'm going to show you how when Jesus released the power of the cross and the resurrection into our lives, it gives us the power to travel through space and time. Now, why would we want to do that? Well, because it's totally awesome. That's number one. But number two, because this is a seriously, seriously powerful tool to get you unstuck, to bring the breakthrough that you've been praying, fasting, believing for for years. How many of you just know that God has spoken a promise to you that's supposed to be manifesting right now and it's just not happening? I mean, you don't have the finances maybe to do it, or you're getting resistance in the natural, or you're getting maybe resistance in the spiritual realm, the demonic resistance. And the way it's going with all of the pressure and with all of the blocked and shut doors, it looks like that promise that you know is supposed to happen right now is not going to happen for years. How many of you are experiencing that? Yeah. How many of you would love it if you could go into the future, grab everything you need to make that breakthrough and bring it into your now? Okay, you're going to learn how to do it. Amen? How many of you are struggling with a sickness or a disease or a disorder, mental, emotional, physical, and maybe you've tried everything. You've gone to the doctors, you've got medication, you've fasted, you've prayed, you've decreed, you've believed and all that, and, and you're still afflicted with that problem. Raise your hand on that. How many of you know that perhaps... That issue that you're dealing with in your physical body or your mind or your emotions, even your family, could be coming from something that's in your family line. Something way back in time. Maybe not just in your own lifetime, 10, 20, 30 years ago, but maybe centuries back even. Not just a couple generations, but centuries back. Well, Jesus, through the power of the cross and the resurrection, has given us the ability to go all the way back, even all the way back to the garden. Literally go. Literally go. All the way back to the root, to the thing that first came upon your family line and is causing that issue right now that you just can't get off of your life. You're going to learn in these next two sessions how to do that because Jesus has already won the right for it to happen. Now, I am talking like this so confidently because I have seen it in scripture, which I'm going to show you today, and I've also experienced these scriptures coming to life in my own life. I have had so many promises that weren't supposed to happen for years and years and years happen because the Lord allowed me to go into the future and bring it into my now. I'm, I'm about to launch a television program. It's going to air internationally. I've already taped 51 programs. That should never happen for me. I'm an ex-con. I, 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 I was on the street for years doing crimes and, and everything else. And there's no way that what's happening to me now could be happening. But it is because Jesus has given me the ability to bring my future into my now. And I have had, I can't even count. 
You can ask any of my team members. You can ask anybody that knows me. I can't even count how many times I've had some sort of a mental, emotional, or physical affliction. I have had so many diseases and disorders. I can't even list them, them all. I can't. That many of them. But you know what? I've gotten every single one of them healed. Every single one of them. Every single one of them. I've had a supernatural miracle. And it happened when Jesus took me back in time and space to the place where that affliction first came upon my family line, and he got it healed. And I got an instant miracle. I know you want to learn how to do this. Is it true? For me, it started about in 2008, and I received a prophecy when I was in Oklahoma City ministering there from a woman who came and told me that the Lord had said to her that I was going to start traveling through space and time. And when she said it, I wasn't surprised because the Lord had already been telling me the same thing. So I remember I, I went back to the place I was staying, and I got in the presence of the Lord. I began to worship him, and he took me into a deep sleep. And in that deep sleep, I had a vision. And the Lord came, and he gave me the control panel for a DVD player. And as I looked at it, I saw that it had a forward button, a rewind button, a play button, and a stop button. And then the, the Spirit of the Lord said to me at that moment, he said, I'm going to give you the power to go forward in time, backward in time, and even stop time if you need to. And from that moment on, the Holy Spirit began to come and teach me how to do it. See, God always gives you a promise first, and then he teaches you how to obtain that promise, how to take possession of it. He gives you revelation, understanding, wisdom, and that's what enables you to move in that type of promise. So he began to give me understanding, deeper understanding about the cross of Jesus Christ and the resurrection. The revelation I received from those visitations enabled me to begin to move into the fullness of this promise of being able to move throughout time and space. And I'm going to share with you the stuff that God taught me during that time. Now, as soon as I started to learn about the power of the cross and the resurrection to enable us to travel forward and backward through time and space, I began to start having these encounters. Like I would get sick or have a, you know, a physical sickness or emotional sickness or a mental sickness or whatever. But something would come upon me and the Lord would start taking me, especially back. I mean, I go forward in time. But I go back more often than I go forward. I would go back in time and space to the place where that certain disorder I was dealing with at that time came upon me or my family line. Now, when I say the word space, I don't necessarily mean outer space. I mean locations in space. How many of you know that when, let's say, cancer came upon your family line or something in your great-grandmother's time? Maybe she got it because she was, you know, working at a chemical plant or something. And that chemical, you know, started, uh, it started to cause cancer to come into her body. And since that time, since she got this cancer, it seems like that curse is on your family line. And now, you know, your mother's gotten cancer. Your child has gotten cancer. You've had a lot of people in your family line get cancer. Well, you notice that that cancer came upon your family line not only back in time in your grandmother's time, but in a certain place. See, places have memory, and we get memory from those places. Have you ever, like, had a car accident, like, on a certain highway, and then after it happens, when you drive by that same place, you feel like that, ugh, every time you look at that spot where you got into the accident. Why? Because that place holds a memory. And you are holding a memory that's in association with that place. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like, do you know that science has proven that matter holds memory, which means your cells, your bones, your muscles, every part of you, your mind holds a memory of something that happens, especially something traumatic like a car accident or a sickness like cancer. So when Jesus heals you, he not only takes you back to the time that happened, the time when you got into the wreck on the highway, or the time that your great-grandmother, you know, got the cancer in her body, but he also takes you back to the place it happened, because that place holds the memory of that sickness. That place might hold the cause of that sickness, like the chemical plant might have been the cause of that sickness. When Jesus takes you time-traveling, he takes you back in time and space. He takes you back to the time it happened and the places it happens, the location in space that it happened. 